Welcome back to Kiwi TV. This is a continuation of the story time, My Move to California. If you have not seen the part one, please go check it out now and come back to watch this part two. Enjoy. So we moved into Gus Place in August. We moved out in November. Um, and then I found another place for us to live. And I found it on Craigslist again. Like you would have thought I would have learned my lesson, right? But nope. I didn't because I mean we're pretty much homeless like we don't have credit there was nowhere else for us to go we don't know nobody so found another place on Craigslist it was a mother and a daughter I was like okay this should be a better you know duo you know she was on Dorian and the daughter um she's 15 years old and it was good at first y'all I think my problem is I like to speak out when something is bothering me maybe that's my problem people don't like it I am very outspoken like something is wrong I'll tell them like oh um yeah, what's up with this? And a lot of people don't like it, especially when you're living with them, I guess. So we moved in with them November 1st, and everything was pretty cool at first. But then, again, it was just little things, you know. Uh, I The mom, she was very, very OCD, which, you know, I get. She was a very, very neat person, which is cool, but it, it just took it overboard sometimes. And um, they had a little puppy, and sometimes we would leave and we'll come back and we'll see that there's pee in our room like the dog piss in our room like why is there why is your dog allowed to go in our room you know we shut the door so somebody must have opened the door and then we start seeing that some things were missing in our room and of course we blame the daughter because um, the daughter openly came to me and told me she stole the phone from school so I'm like okay you're a thief we're missing stuff in our room you probably stole them you know just a lot of fans and there were it was a very, very old apartment. It was in Korean town. Um, so when we lived in Gu with Gus, it was in North Hollywood, Valley Village, I believe. So when we moved, um, we were now living in Korean town. And y'all, the apartment was so nasty, y'all. I'm not kidding. It's old. It was old. And it was so sad because my mom, she was so OCD. But it's like, lady, it doesn't matter how hard you clean, it's going to stay dirty. Like, it's an old apartment. Like, there was roaches. I kid you not. There was a couple of rats. Like, I've seen, I saw two. And she was so, like, a weirdo. Like, she wouldn't kill them. And, like, I go with my shirt. Like, I'm about to kill this rat. Where y'all at? And she was like, no, 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 no. Tommy, Tommy, come here. No, no. And she would, like, get a bucket, put the rat in there, and go outside and release it. I was like, ew, gross. So gross. But whatever. Um, so we just had a lot of problems. I remember she, when we first moved in, she said we won't have to pay electricity bills. But then after a couple of months living there, she's like, oh, we need help paying electricity bills and this and that, whatever. We're like, okay, we'll pay. We'll start paying. And, but she only said when, we need to pay only when it's over $100. But then she was asking us every single month, even when it's under $100. I was, so I, went, I told her, I was like, oh, no. We're not paying because you said when it's over a hundred dollars and uh, she got mad walked off but hey we didn't have to pay like just it was no more when it's over a hundred dollars what else oh yeah I remember um there was one night me and Ashley were moving our bed in or out or we were just moving some item furniture it's heavy furniture so when we went out we couldn't lock the door behind us because we were going right out and this lady locked us out and we didn't take our key with us because, like I said, we are going outside real quick. And she locked us out. Kid you not, it was like 11 p.m. She locked us out. And we were out there for like an hour and a half, like two hours. Banging on the door. Banging on the door. And she swore she couldn't hear us. She swore she couldn't hear us. Even though this lady here, like a pin drop. She hears every single thing. But she's like, oh, I didn't hear you. I wasn't. I was like, are you serious? We were banging on the door. I've been banging on the door. I'm sorry. Okay, so we were banging on the door. And she swore she couldn't hear us. I actually got so mad that I went downstairs, went, uh, got rocks, and I threw it out her window. I'm so sorry. I know that sounds so ratchet and mean or whatever. But it was late at night. I actually had to be at work early in the morning. Who wants to be locked outside? So I took rocks and I was throwing it out her window. And she finally opened the door. And she's like, oh, Tommy. And I just walked up and I told her, I was like, you know what, Carla, with all due respect, 
I don't, I, you know, I don't want to disrespect you right now. So please, I just want to go in my room. Please don't speak to me because if I speak to you right now, I will disrespect you. She's like, nah, nah, Tommy, no, no, yeah, this and that, did, 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 did. she started going off of it. I was like, whoa, where is all this coming from? And it's so funny because she was only going off on me. Like they never go off on Ashley because you know she don't say nothing. Even if she has something, if there's something wrong, like if somebody's stepping on her foot, she was to stay quiet. Me, I'll t I'll tell you and push you. I'm like, uh. no, I am very outspoken. Okay, so and I, I think that's what's been the real problem there. My mouth, I just when there's a problem, I feel like communication is is key. You know, and if there's something that needs to be done, I will communicate that with you. But not everybody agrees with it. Um, long story short, it was just, we just had to move out. Uh, we stayed there for, I believe, a year. It was over a year, actually. We stayed there for a while, honestly. But then we finally, finally got our own place. Cause um, I got um, a credit card. I signed up for a credit card. I had been using that credit card like crazy crazy to build up my credit this past you know um a year and a half or whatever i had been building up my credit so we can get an apartment uh so now i'm back to that first apartment that we called when we were in texas remember that apartment yeah so we called them again and we're like ah oh, you know we're here that entire situation was ugly as well i'm not gonna lie y'all like oh my god it was terrible one the manager is terrible She's very unorganized. She never picks a phone call. So every single time I wanted to contact her, we would have to catch the bus here. And it's not really easy. But we would always, always have to catch the bus here. So the time we'll be locked out and we'll just wait for the manager to get there. Uh, when we finally got in contact with her, got all the paperwork, she finally told us that we need a co-signer. So I asked my pastor. I was like, okay, there's no way around it. I need help and I need to learn to ask for help. So I asked for help, asked my uh, pastor, and she, she decided, okay, sure, she would co-sign for us. So she co-signed, and goodness, when was this? This was in, what, July? No, it was in March. So she said, she said that the apartment was going to be ready March 1st. So we told Carla, you know, the lady we're living with, that would be out. And as we were moving, the management told me that, no, there's some renovation that still needed to be done at our place and whatever, whatever. And I have pride, so I was way too proud, uh, prideful to tell Carla that, you know, we need a couple more days. So we just moved in with my friend. My friend was kind enough to let us stay with her because uh, now, you know, I made friends and whatever. So um, I stayed with my friend, Neji, and days turned into week, a week, and a week turned into like an, a week and a half. And we did not move in until like March 16th. And it was because I actually went up to the management office, manager's office and I was like, look, what's going on? Like, I don't care if they're not, everything is not all done. I don't care. We need to move in. I told her like, we need to move in. Say, like, oh, the carpet is not dry. I was like, that's fine. We don't have to be on the carpet. We just need to move in. Cause I hate being a bur burden on people. It's like, we're still with my friends right now. So pretty much you're homeless right now. We need a place to be in. And I'm moving in, you know? So she finally gave us the key and we moved in. And <sighs> here I am. Here we are in California. Making it. We're making it. Uh, but honestly, I owe it all to God. I really do. I will owe it all to God because y'all, I don't know how we did it. I do not. I think like, wow, wow, that was very crazy. How in the world did I do this? Like how in the world are we here? And how in the world are we been here? We've been here for like two years now. How are we still doing it? And are we still coping? And Surviving and paying rent, even though we've never done this before, man, y'all, it's nothing but God. I, I, honestly, it is nothing but God. Like, I don't have any other explanation. Ashley has zero money. I ended up with zero money, but yet yeah, we're still here. Even though it's this, it's this, it's, I can't say that word, statistics.
statistics, st uh, statistics say that most majority people who move from uh, move to California end up moving back home in within the first one year. I'm like, we've been here for two years now. Like, we don't fit in the stats, and I'm so happy and so grateful for that. Oh. So yeah, that's it. That is my story. I'm sorry that it was long. I try to I'm pretty I try to cut it as short as possible, but I just like to talk and there there was so many things that went into this situation and nobody knew. Honestly, it was just me and Ashley. We didn't tell anyone. I definitely didn't tell my family. We didn't tell anyone. So we were in this alone. Just me and her. Just in this alone, just figuring out. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I move my hands a lot. I just realized that. It's like I'm, I want to dance or something, really walk or something. But um, thank you guys for watching this video so, so very much. I am glad to be in California. And I hope this video inspires somebody to, you know, it's okay if everything doesn't go as planned. I promise you it is okay. Because I'm here. If I can't do it, I swear anybody can do it. Like, we did it with nothing, pretty much. And we're here. We're doing it. So I'm here to inspire y'all. If you're thinking of moving to California or you're already here and you're thinking about going back home, hang in, hang in there, man. Hold on tight. Hang in there. You can do it. You can. You can do it. You can do it. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid to ask for help. That's one of my biggest problem i don't like asking for help do not be afraid to ask for help you can do it but god has put people in your life to help you for a reason so utilize that don't be a people user but utilize help when you need it okay oh, okay thank you guys thank you guys so much for watching truly appreciate it please be sure to tell your friends your family and your enemies let them know Kiwi TV is the page to be on, okay? And be sure to subscribe, 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 and thumbs up. All right? And share the living soul out of this video because many people want to move to LA and they might need, you know, reassurance that it's okay to fail sometimes as long as you get a lesson. All right, have a good one, you guys. I love you guys so much. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. See y'all next week.